Here we go. It'll be three laps to go. LaJoy, the control car on the inside. Martin Trex Jr. on the outside. This is the same way they lined up last time when LaJoy got the lead. Now well, LaJoy get his first win of the career. Well, LaJoy get his first win of the season. Yeah, I'd like to see them be a little bit closer together than they were. Good organization on the outside line. Oh! The seven and the nineteen. Oh, the three wide. Three wide. Here comes Chase Elliott. Chase to the middle. Truex now to the outside, going backwards. And, and poor Truex, he is a sitting duck. To the high side. Here comes Chase Elliott. Lejoy up to block him. Coming to two to go here. Chase is going to get a run on this seven car in the first straightaway. We know he's going to the inside. There, there he goes. Outside. 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 Five car to the lead. Look at the run from Mary Jones. Elliot blocks. Push is coming from both sides. Elliot goes down to block. Corey's clear. He's clear the 43. One lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bay. For Chase Elliot. LaJoy loose behind the He's got the run. But Elliot blocks. LaJoy in the wide. He's spinning. Hard in the wall. Kirk Bush is in it. Caution is out. And it looks as though the nine of Chase Elliott is going to be scored the winner. Is it going to be the nine or the one? Chase Elliott will join his father as the only Georgia born driver now. Two of them to win at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Just a second, father, son, yeah, we are prepared to win Atlanta. How about that, boys? Mr. H. Sarah's going off in Dawsonville. And Chase Elliott Elliot, fans all over hugging and celebrating this win. That was a good one. Appreciate y'all. Corey made an aggressive move to win the race, and it just didn't work out. He got a big push from the 43 down the front straightaway, and he had to, had to do something with that, right? Yes. So he went to the outside. He had to go back for Corey LeJoy. He gave it all in. Chase goes up the block a little bit. Corey gets move. Ball, gets up high. Here it is. The 43's coming to the one back move of the, for the win. car. And he knows. Now Corey's going to get a run. What's he going to do? I That's bump for Mary Jones. Chase enters low, moves oh. up the racetrack. That sends Corey into the wall. Collects Cole Custer. Some hard legs right there. in the back of the night, just barely right there, and up the racetrack, loose into the wall. Everybody just going, going for it, really. You know, Chase is going to block. You know the blocks are coming late in these races. Just defending his position, trying to win this race. This late in the race, you, you said, you're gonna, if you got to run, you have to take it. And if it's coming from behind, you have to block it. And I know Corey won't be happy with the block, Chase, to be honest with you, doesn't like having to do that kind of block because it exposes you as well. It's just the nature of the beast on the last lap. If we that was a lot of fun. If we looked at it real close, Chase blocked the move, and there was some contact where the seven bumps in the chase. Yeah. There's, there's some distance between them. They sort of separate. He burned the left tire down. It's flat. That checkered flag moment brought to you by Advance Auto Parts. Well, it was when he was 13 years old and out at the racetrack with his dad. He was racing legends right here in a quarter mile, and you hear the crowd. Bill, Georgia driver. And guess what's happening in Dawsonville right now at the pool room? A man right here wore the right outfit today. Hey, yeah, he did. A lot of Chase Elliott fans in the crowd, and there it is. That's the pool room at Dawsonville. He's done it again, Marty. 
Chase Elliott just looked at me and said, unbelievable, that finish was crazy. Wins both of the stages today, and for these fans here in Atlanta, the hometown boy delivers. Got a lot of big wins in your career. I can think of one in Phoenix that got you a title, but where does this one rank on the all-time list? This one's up there for sure, man. This uh, To win at your home track is a is a really big deal, I think, to any race car driver. And, and uh, I've, I've watched a lot of guys do it over the years. You know, Jimmy out in California. and um, We haven't really had a, a very good run here, so I uh, felt like, you know, today was a great opportunity for us. But just so proud uh you know, this is obviously home for me, home to a lot of great fans who made a lot of noise today. Uh, home for Napa, uh, you know, right down the road in Atlanta. So just uh, couldn't be more proud of, of our team. What a car. I mean, uh, I'm not sure we've ever had a Speedway car that good. If we had, I probably wrecked it down at, down at Daytona. But uh, just, just, man, um, what a few weeks it's been. I feel like I gave one away last week. and. To come back and, and put on a performance like that, I'm really proud of that. So uh, excited to get home. It's going to be a big one tonight. I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure it will be. i got to ask you about the last lap. You had to go up and block the seven. You actually said I'm sorry on the radio. So what was going through your mind on that final lap? Uh, well, I mean, obviously I knew he was going to have a, a big run. Um, you know, I didn't want to really give him the bottom. And, you know, I tried to, tried to give it one good, real aggressive block. Uh, I felt like I had enough room to kind of give it a second one. And he was uh, you know, just right there on the right side of my back bumper. So it was far enough, um, you know, to the back side of the bumper to launch me forward. Um, you know, hate it tore up some cars, but I, mean, I don't know what you do. Either go for the win or don't. I'm going to choose option A every day of the week. Yeah, there you go. So you think these fans have heard of the pool room before in Dawson? Then we've been live all day there with Rutledge. Is it okay if Rutledge rings the siren tonight? Yeah, just don't, tell him not to break it. Now, that thing is uh, really <laughs> special. So, yeah, just That's thank you guys so special. much for coming out. Y'all made a lot of noise today. And, uh, can't wait to head back up 400 and, and get back home and say, I want to say hey to my mom and dad. I know they're watching at home. I wish they were here. Um, this is a really, really special day for us. And just say thanks to all, all the fans here in, in Georgia who have supported me and, and uh, you know, supported my family for many years. So really, we're just proud of this, and uh, we're going to enjoy it. What an incredible day for Chase Elliott, the Elliott family, and all these fans here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. The hometown kid delivers. I'm sure Bill and Cindy are very proud back in Dawsonville. Let's go to Rutledge Wood, who is at the pool room there in Dawsonville, to hear the siren. <laughs> Rick, Chase said it, these fans are ready. Let's hit that siren. <laughs> I think that's the first time we get to witness that. What a scene it is. These folks have been here all day waiting for this. Unbelievable. The hometown boy gets the win, and the siren goes off at the Dawsonville Pool Room.